So let's have a go at graphing 3 cos 2x between 0 and 2 pi. First, pull out the, fit the things we know. The amplitude is 3. That's this number here. This number gives me the period, but not directly. The period is 2 pi over this number, which is pi. There's no horizontal shift, and there's no vertical shift. OK, so I've got to graph this function. Now I can straight away graph it if I want to. So if I draw myself some axes, trying to decide where to put it, um, Here's my axes. We're going from 0 to 2 pi, so let me put the, this axis here. Y, X. Actually, this isn't Y, this is F of X. Let me call it F of X instead. Um, doesn't matter too much where I put it, actually. So I'm just going to call this arbitrarily 3 and go the same distance down the other side and call it minus 3, because that's my amplitude. Um, I'm going out to 2 pi. I probably should make that evenly spaced. So let me have a look. I'm going to have to work in quarters and things. It'll work. Pi's can be there, and 2 pi can be there. And 0, of course, is at the origin. OK. It's a cos graph with no horizontal shift, and the um, amplitude is positive, so it's going to start at the top, it's going to go down and come up. Now one period is pi, so it's going to be back at the top here. Halfway along it's going to be at the bottom. And then the same thing's going to happen here because it's periodic. We're going to go back down to the bottom halfway along and back to the top. So I can actually now put in my curve if I'm careful. I can actually sketch in the curve already, like so. And all I have to do is fill in the points of interest. So the coordinates of these points are fairly clear. Um, I don't think we really need to label them, but the textbook does, so let me, have, let me do it as well. 0, 3. Now, this therefore must be Halfway along will be pi on 2. Oops, pi on 2. And this halfway along will be 3 pi on 2. So this is pi on 2, negative 3. This is pi 3. 3 pi on 2, negative 3. And 2 pi 3. Uh, the median line through the centre, because there's no vertical shift, the median line is y equals 0. Sorry, I don't think you can see everything there. Sorry about that. That should be better. Median line is y equals 0. It's the line through the centre. Um, the period is pi. If you wanted, you could mark that. Your textbook actually doesn't. I'm going to get another colour to mark that, otherwise it's going to start getting confusing. Pick any point to the same point one cycle later, and you can say period is pi. And the last thing we really want to figure out is these points where it crosses the axis. Now, I haven't drawn them quite perfectly, but they are going to be halfway between pi, 0 and pi on 2, pi on 2 and pi, so they're going to be at the quarters. So that point is pi on 4. This one is 3 pi on 4, this one is 5 pi on 4, and this one is 7 pi on 4. And there is my neat graph for this function.